A big birthday for America brings a new building in the Bahamas. Here's DeAndre Hamilton with the story. An extraordinary country, a magnificent new building, a momentous occasion all marked as the U.S. valiantly marched into its 248th anniversary of independence this past 4th of July with the official ribbon cutting of its new embassy on Shirley Street in Nassau, Bahamas. Principal Deputy Director of the Overseas Buildings Operations Bureau, Douglas Dykehouse, confirmed the structure is as smart as it is stunning. This new facility is a model for energy and water efficiency and climate resilience. Well-insulated equipment saves energy while solar panels provide power. Rainwater collection will conserve water that will be used for the cooling system. Bahamas Prime Minister Philip Davis welcomed Turks and Caicos officials and reflected on the value of U.S. relations. I am reminded of the countless ways our nations have supported each other over the years, whether in the aftermath of our deepest tragedies or through collaborative efforts to protect our borders, the United States has always been a steadfast ally to the Bahamas. Foreign Affairs Minister Fred Mitchell welcomed the new Chargé d'Affaires and brought to focus the family ties. 34,000 Bahamians said to be in the United States. We are proud of the fact that we have a relationship where we can describe it as kith and kin and cementing the overarching mood and theme of the moment was Brigadier General Maurizio Calabresi of U.S. Northern Command. It is an honor to be here with you in this beautiful archipelago on the cusp of the 248th anniversary of America's independence. It is also a privilege to be here at the ribbon cutting for the new U.S. Embassy, a tremendous physical manifestation symbolizing what our Bahamian colleagues call the three ships, friendships, relationships, and partnerships between our great nations. That ribbon-cutting soiree was held on June 28th. DeAndre Hamilton reporting.